Hello. Hello. It's the new year and we're all trying to think of how we can maybe tweak our lifestyles a little bit and be a little bit more healthy. And I was thinking about it and I was thinking, really, snacks is where it's really easy to fall down and grab a chocolate bar, grab a packet of crisps, things that are full of fat, salt, sugar. And so if you eat healthy snacks, then you can incorporate a little bit more healthiness into your day. Yes. It's and we're not just talking about fruit and veg, although those are very good things to snack on, but different ways of eating them, like instead of, I don't know, cucumber sticks, you could have something like edamame beans. Yeah. Instead of reaching for a quality street or your chocolate of choice, reach for a lychee. I've been doing a lot of that over mm, Christmas. Yeah. This is a great one, because I've never thought of this. So this... It blow my mind. <laughs> uh, easily done. Yeah. <laughs> this is um, roasted chickpeas. And before that, that sounds like really kind of really healthy, but think of them as like a beer snack or an mm. alternative to crisps. So what you're going to need are some chickpeas, some paprika or other seasonings, some salt and a little bit of olive oil. The thing with chickpeas is it's really good to give them a good rinse. Why is that? Uh, to get rid of all the starchy water. And I have it on very good authority that if you rinse them really well, you get rid of the starch, and the starch is what can have a lively effect on your intestines or your insides, if you know what, what you I mean. What do you mean by lively effect, then? <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Uh, so, I'm going to give them a good, a really good rinse, now that I know that. And then the paper towel is just to block them. Okay, so we're to pour them on. Yeah, that'd be great. You want them really dry because you want to roast them till they're completely crisp. And then I'm going to roast them dry. I'm not going to put any oil on them. I'm not going to put any of the seasonings on them. And lots of recipes for this tell you to put oil on them before, but I find that if you do, they don't get the crunch. Um, but if you roast them dry, they get a really lovely crunch. I'm going to put them in the oven for 50 minutes at 200 degrees C. And, but I'm going to check them every sort of 15 minutes and give them a shake just to move them around a bit and turn them over. These have been in for 30 minutes and I have to say, I think they're ready. I think Lucy's oven is much more powerful than mine. So I would recommend checking them every 15 minutes. And when they start to look like this, ta-da! Sound like that. And sound like that. Uh, you know that they're ready. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of oil on them. I don't want too much. Wow, really tiny amount. Yeah, well, I'll stir it in, see how it looks. And then a sprinkling of salt. And then a sprinkling. Now, this is my favourite thing in the world. It's smoked paprika. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's smoky. It doesn't really have any heat, so for kids it's fine. So I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Stir it through. But you could use anything, any spices that you really like. That like you... rosemary and sea salt. Yeah. And... We could do thyme and lemon, something like that, do you think? Uh, I'm not sure about lemon, mm. maybe. Yummy, yummy. Give it a try. Try anything, really. Mm. Good. Yeah, very nice. Very so, lovely. new ways with chickpeas. Let us know what you do with yours. Have you got any great savoury yeah. snack ideas? Uh, boiled eggs is a good one. Boiled Isn't eggs that? is a good, yeah. Edamame beans, I'm a big fan mm. of the edamame bean. I was in Paris recently and they were all at this sort of very cool bar, I just sat there eating boiled eggs. Great. Didn't smell <laughs> great, but look quite cool. Anyway, on that note, happy snacking. See ya. Bye. Um, and I can feel a cold coming on. And my go-to fail-safe cold remedy is a hot toddy. Uh, my husband makes the meanest in town. Um, they are very simply. I think it might be actually just because it contains whiskey. It's like legitimised daytime drinking. It's medicine.